What's up guys, Xdinashotx here from NTP, and I am back again with another statue tutorial today. Uh, I have the Venom skin from the uh, Spider-Man Marvel skin pack here on Xbox 360. I'm going to be showing you how to make this. It has been some time, I know, since I have made a statue video, and I do apologize. The short version is I've been in school, I'm back in school now, I'm taking summer classes for college, and I'm going to be going in more detail and all that. The channel's not dying, so don't worry. Don't be all like, oh my gosh. You know, <laughs> there's no videos. Why, Ninja? It's only AJ uploading stuff. Because AJ is going to be recording some stuff with YouTubers on PC Minecraft. Doing mini games and stuff with them. And he's going to be uploading it to the channel. So you'll see that from time to time. Kind of like filler videos when we're not doing statues and things. Because I can only record things... Um, on the weekends now, like uh, for builds and stuff and those sort of deals, I can only do those really on the weekends because the rest of the week I have totally filled up with, you know, class and all that. So that is the short version. I'm going to be explaining more of a detailed version in, like, Ninja News coming up. So, yeah, that this is this is just information for those who are curious, you know, if you're seeing this, like, right when this is coming out, like, as a new video. Um then yes, but if you're seeing this like, I don't know, a month from now, totally disregard all the information because it's not even relevant now. So obviously if you see the date of when this video is uploaded and when, you know, you're seeing this now, it's completely different. Even if it's like a year from now, my gosh, you know, totally just disregard that information. But um, yes, this is the skin from the Spider-Man skin pack here on uh, Xbox, and we're going to be doing probably some skins and those sort of things for a little while, because we haven't done this in a very long time, and when we made this, it was fun to finally record this. So, probably gonna be, and also really cool, we're finally on the second level of our uh, of our statue world, we're building stuff on this glass ceiling, and we're probably going to be making another glass ceiling above this to keep out the rain and stuff. Who knows? But uh, let's go ahead and just jump into the tutorial, because, you know, long intro, long, long explanation, and I don't want to take too long on this because I actually have some errands to run today so yeah but uh here we go four dimensions the legs are eight by four by twelve the torso is eight by four by twelve the arms they are attached or aligned to the torso and they are four by four by twelve and the head is eight by eight by eight with a hat effect um hat effect slash uh body effect uh some skins now also those dimensions are linked by width by height and it will be in the description but um, some of these newer skins that they're coming out with on Xbox, 
And I, they might even be on uh, PS3 and stuff like that, too. I'm not actually 100% sure of the skins that are coming out for PlayStation. So if you're a PS, PlayStation watcher, you play Minecraft on PS3, I don't know any information about you as far as skins go. But on Xbox here, we definitely have a lot of interesting new effects that are coming out. Like, say, Doc Ock here, which we will be doing a tutorial for eventually. He has, like... A body effect and conquer, which I'm probably gonna be changing from brown to orange because the brown just looks. Eh, I don't, I'm not really liking it, but uh, they have like these body effects that you know, or these things like it's kind of like a hat effect that's not attached to their head. It's just coming off their body. So we're probably gonna start coining the term body effects now with some of these newer skins that we're gonna be making because we've had some requests for some of these and uh, you know, pretty interesting. So this is kind of like a half. Hat effect, half body effect. I mean, it starts at the head um, to make it like a hat effect, but uh, it comes down like way below. It's like kind of like in front of the body, so it's it's like half and half almost. But I'm probably gonna consider this more of a hat effect because that's where it starts. It's, it's attached to the face, so. Um, but yeah, I'll get to that when we get to it. So Let's jump into all the detailing and stuff now, which is actually fairly simple. Like for his body, you're only gonna need black and white. So, as for the legs, all black, all the way around, as you can see here. There's no extra detailing, totally black, just, yeah. <laughs> His legs all the way around are all black, so you don't have to worry about anything. Just, you know, make an 8 by 4 by 12 like, rectangular prism all the way up, make it all black, and should be good. Also, I didn't mention, I'm going to be having screenshots as usual at the end of this. If you, you know, you're, you've been watching our latest statue videos quite frequently, then you should know that. We're gonna have we have uh, screenshots in the plastic texture pack. Um, after I get done rambling and stuff here, you know, uh, if you have any part that is sort of confusing or anything, then you just check out those screenshots and it should help you, you know, distinguish what color is what and you know what should go where. So I may not be doing screenshots for the legs just because it's all black. Maybe like a front and side view of it or something, just because there's just no detailing to really show there. Um, and somewhat the same thing for the arms here and the body, because the arms, both arms are completely black, and the front and back of his body are exactly the same. Uh, when Lucky designed this, and when he was making this, uh, he threw extensive detailing out the window because there's some weird grays, and if we would have actually detailed him to a key, he would have been completely, probably gray instead of black, which is what he should be. So, um, as far as this goes... This could probably be more detailed, and if you want to go ahead and do that, you take it upon yourself to mess around with it. But this is our simplified version and quick and easy version. But the front and back are exactly the same. So when you copy down this design, um, just mirror it to the front. So just make like the front and back completely the same, and the arms are totally black. So here is the design of the Spider-Man symbol, or whatever, on uh, him, on the back of him, and on the front. Here. So... Uh, very, very, very easy, as you can see. So, um, starting off with the face now, we get some more colors now, finally. Uh, we got some red here, obviously, for the mouth, and a little bit of light gray on his eyes. Um, I will get to the tongue probably last, since it is sort of a weird hat effect. But you also have, uh, obviously, uh, white and black, which you've been using. Here's the first side of his head. Also, I hope you can't hear a lawnmower going on outside, because the neighbor is mowing. He just decided to start mowing as I was doing this, so... Oh, he stopped. Cool. Maybe he'll stay that way until I can finish this. <laughs> so, here's the side of his head. It's uh, nether brick, and a little bit of red, though, from, you know, from his face and stuff. Again, black, light gray, and white. Same usual colors. Um, we just add in a little bit of nether brick here because the side of his mouth gets a lot darker than uh, the front. So, and then the back here is completely black, totally black. Really simple. And then this side, I believe, is the exact same as the other side, is it? It is. It is just mirrored right across. So um, you can just mirror what is on that side just over here. So really, really easy. Um, this guy, he's a lot of simple mirroring and just plain colors. So he's pretty easy. And as for the top of his head, it is all black. A little bit of light gray. Or his eyes are mainly light gray, actually. And uh, a little bit of white there, of course. Middle of his head. Middle of the top of his head is all black. Really, really easy. So, uh, coming down here to the tongue, though. So, y uh, usually a hat effect comes out, you know, for a normal skin. A, 
it normally comes out about one from the head, right? Like, it could only come out like one on the sides, top. Whew, excuse me, I yawned. A normal hat effect can only come out, you know, usually one on the front, sides, back, top, whatever. This one comes out two. So think of it as, like, two different planes, I guess. The first plane is just these two little red blocks, right? These two, um, yeah, these two red pieces of wool, and then it comes out again like this is, like, the second plane, I guess. I don't know. It's ter it, that, that might be more confusing than anything. Ba okay, basically, just take two red, two red, two red pieces of wool, and center it up with the, you know, the middle of his face, this 8 by 8 by 8 square. You know, the front of his face, you're going to line it up. If you want to line it up, count over three, and then on the fourth block, you know, you're going to put one there, you know, have two there. So you're going to have two pieces of red wool, and it's going to come out one more, all right, and then this is going like, to be where the rest of the tongue comes out. So then from where that, from where this block is, you know, you're going to come down two, and then in the middle there, you're going to go to the right one. So you're going to have... Uh, like the start of a T, almost. It kind of looks like a Tetris piece, honestly. And then you're going to have this zigzag pattern that goes down. So from the very bottom here, you're going to go left one, then down one, then left one, then down one, then left one again. Then you're going to go down two. So from here, you're going to go down two. And then to the right one. Then you're going to go down one again. And then you're going to go to the right two. And then you're going to go up one. Then you're going to go to the right two more. And then you're going to go up two more. Then to the right one more time. So if you want to think about that, it's like... Three, there's like two here, there's like three here, three here, three going up and down, then one right there. So, um, sun is setting, so that's where I should wrap up now. But that is the gist of the tongue, so fairly simple. It's, uh, it could be hard, but it could be a little bit difficult, challenging, but it shouldn't be too hard, too difficult. But, uh, yeah, that is it for this, guys. Uh, if you have any requests, go ahead and leave them in the comments, usual, you know, the usual spiel. Uh, any skin, any other skin pack skins? Probably gonna be doing those, by the way, uh, on and off. The guy just started up his lawnmower again. Hope you can't hear it. Um, probably gonna be doing some mobs, uh, just because we don't do those very often, and I think it'd be nice to do those again. Uh, so, yeah. But uh, any other YouTubers? Go and leave them in the comments. I know we're gonna have a lot of YouTubers, and we're gonna be doing those from time to time. So, but uh, yeah, that's it for me, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. And as always, we will see you for the next one.